Hi, we're here to talk today about the uh, Solarbotics BeetlePot. Now, this is supposedly an introductory uh, robot kit, and it should take you about an hour. Um, according to Solarbotics, this should take us no more than an hour, and it includes everything we need to get it started. Including, uh, according to the package here, it says all we need is probably a screwdriver, and it requires no soldering. They have this nice little ranking here, uh, which tells you just basic uh, information on this kit. That's also a very nice thing. A lot of kits don't give you that. So let's get started with opening this up here. We have a manual and some papers and whatnot. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, so it looks like we have some stickers here that we'll be placing on something. And a bag of goodies. So let's see what we've got inside of here. Okay, so let's just put that aside. Okay. So, uh, we start off with a screwdriver. Uh, it looks like a Phillips head screwdriver. We have some wire here, some pre-cut wire. They all look about the same. I think these, uh, there's six wires and it looks like we'll probably be using this for the legs if I look at the picture correctly. So, our legs. We have two springy type things which will probably be used for antennas. We have a bag of hardware, so some screws and standoffs. We have some bases here. Looks like it's some kind of a plexiglass or Lexan or some kind of some kind of plastic. Um, similar we've seen in other robot kits. Triple A battery holder. Um, yeah, there we go. Triple A batteries holders right there. And a series of cables, double-sided tape, uh, two motors in here, and a switch, and let's see, that's about it. Looks like some other force-sensitive switches and whatnot. So that's just a quick introduction to this, and uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to start building this unit in the next video. In this video, we just wanted to give you a brief introduction to it. Basically, from what I understand, the BeetleBot is basically the simplest robot you can use, uh, or that you can build, and it basically just hobbles about, and then when it actually touches something with its antennas, from what I understand, it actually moves backwards and moves around according to that. Now, it's kind of big, so, uh, well, the antennas are kind of big, so that's about it. So in the next video, you'll see us actually building the unit out and getting it working. Should take us under an hour, so let's see.